Young people in Rwanda face many barriers to sexual and reproductive health information, making them vulnerable to disease and unintended pregnancies, undercutting their ability to assess education and employment. But a phone and web application, Tatan App, is hoping to change that, especially for how to reach young people living in refugee camps. The app was developed by twin Rwanda medical students. It aims to use technology to teach and give teenagers reproductive health information. For people in the camp to access the internet, they don't have smartphone or they don't have enough facilities. That's why we thought of bringing those tablets and establishing a center where they can come and then access the internet in the camp. So we are going to equip them with those tablets and then a router with Wi-Fi. Tantan was developed through an innovation accelerator program that is supporting young entrepreneurs, an initiative of United Nations Population Funds. For so young people who are in the community who are not in schools, those young people and youth, they also need that information. So you have really to have uh, an approach which is holistic and which is also multi-sectoral, so that at least each and every young person can have access to that information. The program has received funding from the UK's Department for International Development, enabling UN Population Fund to tap into vibrant local networks of social innovators. When it comes to adolescent sexual reproductive health, it's still very and, and, um, tied up to the culture and that takes time to be changed, but there is a will. There is a will in, in the government, there is a will in the education sector, and programs such as the Accelerator uh, are very key, they're very um, instrumental. The Innovation Accelerator has so far received 800 ideas from young people addressing sexual and reproductive health challenges across East Africa.